first of all, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to interview you. So um, if you want to introduce yourself, just go ahead. All right. My name is Imran and I'm 18 years old. All right. Um, so you moved from England to the United States, yeah? Yep. How many years um, was it ago? Almost two years ago now. Almost two years ago. And can you tell me some things about the, the daily life abroad, like the big differences and especially the things you, you like about moving to the States? Alright, um, the daily life is a lot different because everything is a lot further away here. That's one of the major differences is that, mm -hmm. okay, like in England you could walk everywhere, public transport you could get, and it was just... Here you have to be able to basically you have to be able to drive to get anywhere from the suburbs unless you live in like the main cities and people don't really live there because it's a lot more expensive and the housing in the city where everything's close where you can walk to it's normally like the lower income it's like government housing All right and then I don't know everyday stuff you have to get used to is like yeah the food portion is way bigger here. Very different here. <laughs> if I recall correctly, besides studying, you have been working in states as well. What kind of work have you been doing there? I used to work in a grocery shop, now I work in a hotel, but currently, because I'm a student, I'm unemployed. Alright. And what about the interaction between the employees and the people above them? Like, for instance, the interaction between you and your boss. Do you feel like there is a gap of some sorts? Or do you think the interaction is quite fluent and spontaneous? Uh, most of the time, it's okay. It's like, when I worked at a grocery store, it was for, like, a smaller business. If you, I think if you work for a smaller business, it's a lot more friendly. Like, the owners, everyone, like very close-knit, but when I worked for the hotel, it was like a chain, and the owner was still, the owner was nice, everyone was nice there, it was just, it was a lot more divided, like, the reception staff was different to the housekeeping staff, the mm -hmm. housekeeping staff was different to, like, the food staff, they were, they were more broken, and, like, they didn't, like, they all had, like, their own friendship groups, and then the owner was just kind of, like she was more worried about like the bottom line you just had to get everything right and like you had to adhere to a lot of policies like we would always have to do stuff with policies like you can't rent a hotel room if you're under 21 so we would have to be like even if they've already so if they've already like paid for their room online or whatever you have to they come in you have to ask for their id and their card together because you can't give away like, it's just you have to do that. Then you find out, look at the thing, they're 18, we're not allowed to give them the room. And they've already paid for the room. Really? And then the owner gets a new room. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. And if, if I would describe masculinity as power driven, driven by ambition, uh, focus on the, the goals, etc., and like a feminine style more. Inter more interaction based, more like focus on the people. How would you describe the atmosphere at the working place? At the grocery store, it was more like a feminine style because it was just more open, I guess. Everyone was a lot more friendly about, like, I think it's because how, like, the owners and everyone interacted with each other, like, people cared more, so it was a lot more friendly and nicer. At the hotel, they would do competitions, and the competition, like, incentives. If you, like, what we had was, if you get people to review, like, the hotel on, like, TripAdvisor, which is, like, a hotel review site, get mm -hmm. them to give it five stars, and put your name in the comment. So they'd be, like, oh, Simmer was really helpful at the front desk. That's where I work. You'd get, like, you get a point. However, and whoever won the most points by the end of it, they would get uh, like a bonus. We got like a hundred dollar bonus. So it's nice. When they started doing the competitions, then it got aggressive. Like everyone was just like, people wanted to 
get the customer. Because there'd be two of us at the desk on, like, busy days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And they'd, like, race each other to the desk and be like, oh, did I tell you? Like, if you do this, you get a free bottle of wine. Yeah, the so gets they were just trying to win them and over so they could get the extra points. Yeah, so they could win the hundred dollars yeah. basically in the end. And a second did place. you prefer working at the hotel or the grocery store? Um, even though the hotel was more like cool for whatever, I I liked working at the hotel more. Even though, okay, listen, it was more stressful and there was more like stuff I had to deal with, but the hotel paid me more. And uh, like, if I messed up at the hotel, or, like if someone shouted at me at the hotel, I didn't care as much because like the grocery store is like a family-owned store, and you're like trying to do like do well for them. And like if I did something bad, I'd like feel sorry for them. like because it's like that's there what they do but at the hotel you like mess up a couple of things someone else will fix it or yeah it doesn't really matter because it's such a big company well not a big company but like there's so many people like above you you felt you felt more like a member of the family at the store and like more of a number at the hotel yeah yeah okay yeah I, I can understand um then once you got to America, what were the big cultural shocks you had to encounter? Like, the biggest differences, the culture shocks, what, what did you have to cope with? Eh. Number one, they drive on the opposite side of the road to us. <laughs> so, a couple of times, when, okay, when I was first getting my driver's license here, a couple of the, five times, I've only done this five times, I drove on the wrong side of the road. Uh, I think I would drive... Like half the time on the, the wrong side. <laughs> I just, yeah, so, I like uh, drove a lot. Well, it's the same in, it's the same side as in Belgium, it's just in England we drive on the left yeah, side yeah. of the road. We drive on the left side of the road. Alright. Um now as a conclusion, if you would like fast forward for I don't know let's say twenty years and you live back in, in England, would you actually do it again? And if you had an, an opportunity for work to go to the States again, would you do it? It would depend, like in 20 years. Like, okay, if I had kids, I probably would do it. Just because I moved in like the last year of high school and it was such like, I really didn't like it for like the first entire year, like I hated it. It would just, it would disrupt our lives too much. But if it was, if they're like at an age, their last year, like primary school or their last year of secondary school, I would ask. But, I don't know. I think if the opportunity was like good, like really good, from here, I'm like, I wouldn't be like really affected. I would. I'm lying. I'm lying. So, and if yeah, you if I'm you never. wouldn't if you wouldn't have any kids, would you just right, come back? I'd probably. I don't know. I don't know. Depending on the money, I. Hmm. hmm. That's a hard question. I think I'd do it, but I wouldn't. Like I wouldn't live when I'm old. Like I couldn't. You know what I mean? Like, I'd do it. I'd move back here. It would have to be, like, it would have to be a job that I really wanted. Yeah, so, like... I wouldn't... You wouldn't just... If it's not for a job, just to turn your, your life around, you wouldn't move to the States? I wouldn't, no. I wouldn't move to America. It's just... Like, it's... It's nice, but, like, it's not... It's not the know. same. It's not. It's like it's not home. It's not home. Yeah, I get it. So if you get your, if you would get the opportunity to pack your bags right now and go home, you would take it. Oh man! Right now, I don't think. I don't know. 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 I don't
It would depend. You see, the thing is, it would still depend on, like, university. Like, why am I, like, it would depend on if, yes, can I study university there? It would depend on my degree, how far along I am in my degree. Because it's not like, it's not like I'm doing a medical degree, I can do it everywhere. Like, it's a law degree, like, a criminal justice degree. So it would depend on that. But I think I'd do it. I still think I'd do it. If someone was like, hey, Simran, do you want to go back today? I'd be like, yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> That's good. I know, I just, I'd do it. So do you have any tips for people who want to go and move to a different country who, who are planning to go abroad and live there for a, a long period of time. Do you have any tips on how to, you know, to get to know the culture really fast, to, to adapt, to just tips to, to do anything? Uh, okay. I would say, okay, one of the reasons why I actually like, I like, like it here now, kind of, I guess, is because I wouldn't, um, Don't, like, exclude yourself. Be um, open-minded. Don't, don't, um, don't be like, I'm just gonna sit in my room and talk to my friends, but, like, go out and do stuff. Like, take part in it. Even if you don't know what it is, I don't know, like, I don't know what Thanksgiving was. <laughs> I still don't know what it is. I'm gonna do my first one this year. Um, I would say just, I don't know, go out, try, like, meet new Like, don't, don't be like... Yeah, just be open-minded and just get to know the culture instead of just staying inside and... Yeah. Like, don't just... Don't, okay, because I think when I first moved here, because I was, like, young, I was, like, no, not young, I was, like, a year and a half ago, but I'd be like, oh, I don't want to go out, like, I just want to stay home, like, I want to go back home, I, I miss home, like, I'm, I'm from England, I'm English, but I just... You'll still, like, you'll always have home. Just, like, go out. See what's out there. Like, have a good time. Like, yeah, just if, if you're surrounded by, by good people, you you have a good time. Wherever you are. But it's not home, though. Yeah, it's not home, but you'll still, like, if you interact with people enough, like, you'll find, you'll find something you like here. Like, wherever you go, you'll find something that you, like, relate to. Like, I think joining the rugby team helps. Like, I really like working. Like, you'll find something that you like eventually. And um, make sure you stay in contact with your home crowd, of course. True as well, yeah. Always. And then, yeah, and then as well, at the same time, you can, like, um, like, they show you their stuff, and then you can be like, oh, this is what we do back home. Because people find that interesting as well. And, like, it's good to educate people, because the people in America are not that smart when it comes to, you know, the rest of the world. So you sometimes you just gotta tell them stuff. You gotta be like Well, you you always have a topic to, to talk about like oh you know in England it's it's different and Yeah. You always have something to to share, so Yeah, it's true. Especially new people new people always I think most people think it's fun when they find out you're from a different place. They're like, that's interesting. Yeah. It is. All right, I, I think I've got a, I think I've got everything. I want to thank you once again for uh, accepting the invite for the interview, and I, I hope you have a good evening. Yeah. Bye.